What's going on, everybody? Today's video, we're going to talk Tops Redemptions. Normally, I only will redeem a redemption now, what, no matter the company, is if I know it's live. And this is one of the issues behind it. Panini's been doing a little better with substitutions than Tops has ever done. Tops, to me, with their redemption process, that if it's in there and it's been sitting for since like 2017, 18, you're never going to see nothing on it. I've sent emails onto this in the past and nothing ever gets responded back to. And I don't know how many other people are in this uh, situation as well. Actually, let me just blow this up a tad for the screen. You guys can see it says pending substitutions and all that. The a Andy Ibanez. I want to say I've had those in since like 2017. And probably since like 2020, I've been pending a substitution request. I mean, how hard is it for Tops to find a card that was valued at that amount of money and send me something? I don't know how many other people have this issue. If you do or if you had it resolved somehow, you know, you can always hit me in the comments or send me an email. And same with Yoan Makata. I've actually seen these cards <laughs> out there now. But yet... Because I guess maybe I have pending substitution requested. I waited like a year and a half before I did that. That's been on there for at least a year. Still cannot get a replacement card for it. I mean, it's it's very easy. I mean, they can just say, hey, here's, you know, um, I don't know, a box of tops tier one or something like that for all three of your redemptions. I'm just throwing it out. Some, you know, here's two boxes of signature series archives, something like that. To make up for, you know, sitting there forever on this stuff. But they just don't do it. I don't know if there's a lack of care for pending substitutions. Or how hard it really can be to substitute this stuff. To me, it doesn't seem like it's a real hard process at all. But they just don't really care is my opinion on to it. Like I said, I, I might try calling again. Sometimes, you know, it's you, the wait line is long on to it. It's worse than, you know, trying to get in touch with PSA. You have to be, like, first in line type deal. But these are nothing that's, like, really hugely out there to where I'm like, I want to get something now for it. But it would have been nice if through the years, <laughs> my handy Ibanez's could have been replaced. And for, like, the past almost year, Yoan Makata could have been replaced. It's just ridiculous. Just some of my thoughts, you know, and airing out, my, I guess you could say, my frustrations towards Topps Fanatics. I mean, Fanatics, you bought them out. What's your plan on this? I guess because it was done prior to your purchasing, it don't matter. I, I have no idea. It just really makes you disgruntled as a collector overall or a flipper, whatever you want to call yourself out there, a hobbyist, an entrepreneur, it don't matter. But seeing stuff like this, that you've requested substitutions, this should be handled within, you know, a week, two weeks max. It shouldn't be sitting there for as long as it has at all. But I'm just curious if anybody else has had this issue. Have you ever gotten resolved? You're just letting it sit there. It's not like they have a Topps Redemption booth at the National you can go to, and I really wouldn't pay to go to the National just for these three cards. I will at least give uh, Panini its props, or Panini expi Redemption's not expired ones, but... uh. When you ask for substitution, usually within two to three weeks, they get that out to you. Here? Man. I don't even know if I could transfer this over to, like, my great-great-great-grandkids by the time they actually do something onto it, you know? I know it's a little bit of exaggeration with all the greats and stuff, but like I said, I guess it's just my frustrations. I'm kind of curious if anybody else is in the same boat. What have you done to, you know, try to, you know, get this stuff? Have you been able to get it? I, I'm at like my point to where I have nothing else I can really do to try to, you know, get something in return on these or the cards. I know these weren't produced, the Indy Ibanez's. I think there's one green out there that I've seen on eBay that either sold or is for sale over the last few years. But these I've actually seen come up. They should be like, hey, you're not getting a substitution. We're sending you Yoan Makata. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. Hopefully somebody out there has some good advice on this stuff. I'm not too sure offhand. Um, I really don't deal too much with Fanatics Tops anymore to begin with. But if you do, like I said, I appreciate any help or assistance you guys have out there onto it. Other than that, take care. Catch you guys next video.